Hi YouTube, um, this is a follow up video from the video I made yesterday for David Johnson. Um, the video was showing the suction difference between the Dyson DC01 and the Dyson DC04 because he claims that from his experience um, the DC04 has the same amount of suction power or equal suction power to the DC01 which is not true at all. Dyson claim, or have it on their specs, that the DC04 has 220 air watts and the DC01 is rated at 90 air watts. Um, and I can tell you that I have used six DC01s. I've used two distills, my two DC01s, I've got this one and I've got another one that I use for spares. Um, I've used my friend's DC01 standard, DC01 blue, DC01 Antarctica solo and his DC01 distill. And they all perform to the same poor standard and they all have the same wimpy suction which you don't come to expect from a clean air vacuum cleaner at all. Um, I've used three DC04s, I've used my one I've used my friends and I've used another one. I've got a DC04 distill as well, which I bought for my friend, which I still need to do up properly and give it to him, but I have used it. And the three DC04s that I've used have got way more suction power than the DC01. So I have no idea where you're getting your ideas from about them having the same suction power. But from my experience and from a lot of other people's experience, that I, the people I talk to, They'll, they'll tell you that the DC-04 has much more suction than the DC-01 and it is much higher performing than the DC-01 on carpets. Um, so yeah, um, now in this video um, I've got the Turbo Power 2, just the standard model. This is 800 watts, this is 1200 watts. I think this has got about 200 air watts but don't quote me on that. Um, I need to find that out actually, um, but I think it's a, around 200, so just over double the DC01. And the hose on the Turbo Power 2 is very slightly narrower than the DC01's hose, because I know you commented on my video yesterday and said that the DC04 had a wider hose than the um, DC01, which is why it gave it an advantage. Um, but in this video you'll see that the Turbo Power 2 can actually pull this piece of glass, which is a drinks coaster, um, it can pull it away from the DC01's hose. And I took the HEPA filter out because, in all honesty, this does need a new one because it's been in there God knows how long and it does restrict the airflow a lot. And I imagine it would do anyway because it's a thick filter, so it hasn't got the HEPA filter in there. The filter, pre-filter, is clean. Can't see that restricting the airflow anyway because it's as thin as a piece of paper. The bin is empty apart from little bits of um, dust in the bottom there and there's a couple of hairs um, somewhere in there as well. Turbo Power 2, the filters haven't been changed since I got it. I put new ones in when I got it, which was, has to be three months ago at least. And I've got the Permabag System 2 in there, which has got a bit of dirt in it, probably about that much, because I used it um, in here this morning and it was quite dirty in here. Um, so yeah, the reason I've got the Permabag in it and not a bag is because the bag door is split, I don't know if you can see that, and um, when the perma bag's in there it doesn't allow enough room for the bag door to suck in so when I've got a bag in there the bag door can suck right in and it loses suction because it's all escaping through the bag door. So anyway um, if I didn't say, this is just the standard model, so, you know, 800 watts, 
1200 watts um, so I'll just rest the camera down and I'll show you what the um, Turbo Power 2 can do if I can find the little thing that I had the camera resting on where did it go? I'll just use the HEPA filter unfortunately I don't have a tripod hopefully that'll work okay so here we go bearings in that tow, I'll do it awful. Um anyway, back to the point. So so to speak, bang goes the theory of the um wider hose. Definitely a much better vacuum than the DCO one. And this would have only been about 140 quid. That would have been 199. So you know I can't fault the cyclonic technology, it's really good. And very revolutionary for it, revolutionary for its time, and um, it was very good for that. But Dysons have never been good carpet cleaners. But the suction power on them now, on the new cleaners, not the DCO one, but the new cleaners is excellent. I've used a lot of the new ones, including the DC25 and the DC41, DC14 stuff like that. And the suction power is exceptionally strong on them, so you can't fault the suction on the new models. But the DCO one was very successful for the wrong reasons. Anyway, that hope that clears things up. Um, but um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. So um, stay tuned for my next video, whenever that might be. So <laughs> thanks for watching.